Hi everyone. I'm going to be commenting over a game I played as Sharp Fangs Behind the Leaves uh, versus Brainberg Prussia 6. Usually I go to B or D, so I'm going to D, uh, or D in this case. One reason is that uh, beasts start off in that corner wetlands, which the corner um, Usually this land number three is, is usually a problem just because Brainberg Prussia starts off with an extra town in there. Um, I always start with uh, going from the top track to uncover the animal and then just immediately turning the presence into an extra beast. And the reason I go from the top track first is because um, I need to deal damage or I want to deal damage with Ranging Hunt, turn one. So, that's why I go top track. So unfortunately, don't have any lone um, explorers. So Tyranny of the Jungle kind of doesn't do as much. But wetlands are ravaging and then building again, which is not great. And it kind of looks like we're just going to be taking um, taking three blight right away. I'm looking for plant and beast whenever I'm getting power cards. Um, if I can't get beast, mm, plant is probably the next best thing. I feel like I don't use the second and eight as much as nearly as much as ranging hunt um the one that uses moon and fire just for whatever reason i i just don't use it that much i think it's because it, get it gets rid of beast tokens um and also just for whatever reason i don't i don't reach the threshold the threshold as much so what i want to do pretty much every turn i'm i'm uh changing my presence into beasts. Um, so I really want to make sure that I don't lose presence if possible. So if I get a Blight Island, there's some, there's like, uh, one of the Blight Islands just says like remove three presence and I like immediately lose if that happens. So keeping your presence on the board is really important uh, for this spirit. We get a nice event um, that pushes out of the top wetlands, which is actually perfect and probably is one of the major contributors to why this game ends up being a win. Because um, that wetlands was going to ravage, then build, then ravage again. And I, it doesn't really look like I had a, a way of dealing with it. But um, in this board state, I mean, super winnable now. Probably want to put it in the jungle. Or the sands, I guess. Either one. Just not wetlands. Or mountains. Um, to near the jungle, we don't have presence in the coastal jungle, so we kind of just need to... Oh, and it can't target anything with blight, so I kind of just have to... Uh, oh, that's the Teeth Gleam from Darkness. Teeth Gleam from Darkness can't target um, lands without, or lands with blight in it. So usually my build is, um, or my growth order is 
top track and then I go for three card plays on the bottom but for whatever reason I think I really wanted to deal with the corner wetlands and so I just went top track um, but with other games that I've won as sharp fangs behind the leaves I have done the growth from the top and then two growths from the bottom to get the three card plays I don't hit almost any beasts, or I guess I hit beasts, but um, the problem is that all of these cards need sacred sites. And um, the one that doesn't need a sacred site lets you um, do a slow power fast, but I don't really have that many. Well, I guess some of them are slow powers. I probably should have taken, um, taken that card, but it just didn't have any of the elements I wanted. And you'll see that the minor power I picked up, I just don't use for the entire game because I just don't use, I just don't have any sacred sites. So probably not, probably not the best play. So I do want a ranging hunt. Um, this corner wetlands to deal with it, and then I push it out into the nearest land that doesn't have blight. Um, I get kind of a not great event, but I don't have any sacred sites, so don't have to get rid of presence. And then I get another good, uh, actually this event is pretty good just because my beasts um, generate fear. And I think I actually get two events that both allow my beasts to generate fear. Kind of pushing everything into this jungles on the coast, and coasts are going to be ravaging in two turns. So that's a problem. This corner mountains will be blighting, which will cause a blighted island. So you kind of have to choose, like pick your poison. I feel like I would just let the island blight and try to deal with this coastal jungle as much as possible. Plant and beast. I don't think I really hit anything here. Uh, Lore of the Unknown is fast and can gather a town, which is pretty good. So I think I end up taking that one. It does have moon, fire, and plant, which synergizes with um, second and eight. So mountains are ravaging, but I don't think I really have a way to deal with with that corner mountain. So I think what I'm what I'm contemplating here is Lord of the Unknown. If I could pull it into the wetlands, I could maybe avoid a blight, but coastal lands are building so if I pull a town into the wetlands it'll just build a city which I really want to avoid also so I think I just have to bite the bullet and take the blight I can maybe do something with like lore of wet or lore of the unknown and then um, Prey on the builders, maybe, to stop wetlands building. Like in combination with Ranging Hunt, but it's a lot of resources to just avoid a blight, and I certainly am going to be getting a blight next turn with um, the coastal jungle if I don't deal with it. 
So I think what I what I would like to do ultimately is to um, get a ranging hunt this turn, deal some damage, and then next turn, because I have four beasts in there. That's four damage. Gather a beast, another damage. Yeah, Blighted Island. Lose a presence, unfortunately, but I do get rid of a town. So, I think maybe Sands might be the best one. Actually, I think there's not really a best one. I think they're all kind of equal. I think the Corner Mountain Oh, and then I get Sands and Mountain Explorer, which all have Blight, which is really unfortunate. I use the Fear with Teeth Clean from Darkness just because I'm, I don't have any cities on the board. If I can get some more Fear, I can maybe do some sort of Fear victory. Yeah, I'm looking. I need, was this, 8, 10 fear to get to um, terror level 3, which I don't think I could do. I go for a major power just to see what I get, and um, what I'm looking at is tiger's hunting or paralyzing fright. Tiger's hunting, I mean, was basically made for the spirit, it feels like. Um, the problem is that it doesn't have any plant element. Um... But, I mean, still really good. I think I, I go back and forth between Tiger's Hunting and Paralyzing Fright. Because Paralyzing Fright can skip a build. And I'm really trying to avoid... I'm just trying to avoid cities at this point. Um, so if I can skip a build, that would be really great to stop a Sands from building a, a city here. Um, and it generates a lot of fear. I still don't have a sacred site, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, playing Earth Struggles there. But um, I think what I'm really thinking about is how am I going to get into the sands, because Ranging Hunt needs lands that don't have Blight in it. Um, I think I'm also forgetting that I don't have any Sacred Sites. And I don't have any other cards that have Plant and Beast in it. I really want to do Ranging Hunt to deal with this jungle, because jungles ultimately are ravaging. So I, I end up going back to Tiger's Hunting, um, because Tiger's Hunting is essentially Ranging Hunt, but in card form, uh, with a little bit more stuff involved. So I just go with Tiger's Hunting because I think it, it just ends up working better. I can do ranging I can't do ranging hunt if I use paralyzing fright. So I go back to tiger's hunting. And I actually I think this is the first time I ever use tiger's hunting. Um I just don't usually draw major powers with sharp fangs. And um I happen to also get the threshold, but I can't I can't use the threshold here just because there's no Adjacent non blighting land or non blighted land.
All right, I can't I can't deal damage with Ranging Hunt, but I can push stuff in to the sands. And then um, gather in another beast to stop a build. And then just put as many beasts into the sands as possible and kind of hope for the best. And I kind of get the perfect uh, event. Yeah. Um, I think uh, ultimately I can attribute this win to some pretty good event timings. Uh, so thanks for watching.